extends to the side where gravity is reversed. Tend to fly upwards if it breaks off. It's gonna collapse that shady trick. just need the Elder to discover his talkative side. Sophie, loud me armor. You live barely. You're not attacking. That mean you'll hear me out. Perhaps speak. about Detloff. He's... I know who he is. What of him? He's sicked a swarm of lesser vampires on the city. I have to stop him. But I do not. Sooner or later, Detloff will bring trouble. Serious trouble. Kagmar brought trouble before. Folk will take him down, eventually. Might need a year, or two, or a decade, but they'll find a way. And then they'll go after other vampires. And eventually, they'll find you. And I should fear... Death? No. But that'll be the end of your peace, your quiet. Knights errant, mages, they'll come here day in, day out. One already managed to teleport here. Others will follow, you can be sure. You'll kill them, of course, so they'll flood these caves, or bring in sappers from Mahakam and collapse them. No. This place must be secure. The gate! convince him to spare the city. Will he? Probably not. Yet, we must try nonetheless. If there is a fight, if you help kill him... I will be anathema. This I know. And still, I ask you to summon Detlaf. Where? Teshem Mudna. Go. Once I sent you there, I will summon Deadman. I thank you. Leave me. Oh, that went better than I expected it would. 
Time to summon Deadlove. <sighs> yes. High time. Do... do you wish to go to Tesha Mutner right away? Let's go. Wanna get this over with. Nice place, isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Shame the reason why we came here. Yes, quite the shame. Regis, let the Unseen Elder know we've arrived. Have him summon Deadlaf. didn't manage to find me, so you forced a meeting. Why? You know why. I've tired of guessing your human thoughts. So articulate them or leave me be. I understand your anger, but you need to stop the attacks in the city immediately. My conditions are clear. I wish to see Rello. I wish to see Siana. Yet she is not here. You know why. The Duchess would not release her. So the Duchess must face the consequences. Detlov, please. All this for one woman. You understand nothing. Must be done with this.
You shall not go to the I am the Shadowhunter! You were in it.
Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Ceremonies, medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory, after all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaff. Perhaps we missed something. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now, to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. Oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up! 
Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh! I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They pick them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around inside. This is a decent district. We need no filth folk bumming about. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention, mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Any last words?
right. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait? They'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve the soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeak? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. I need the letter. It's very important. It's no use to you anymore. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said. And she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siano rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Sienna planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Sienna, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, None would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely. 
and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her, but I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment, much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. So, meet up once it's over? Assuming you'd rather not see Siana again. You assume correctly. I shall await you at Mer La Chaise Longue, with a hot mug of mandrake brew to keep me company. Come on, Roach. What's your wish? A dash of wine and a The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. <gasps> Race no fuss! Water no wine! Slower. Run, Roach. Halt! Need to see Siana, urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief.
The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? Just like to know what's going on around me. Can't stand confusion, unexplained situations. Have you come to ask me what drives me? What my motives are? Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Crespi, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Perrin. They got the task of whisking me away, abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Perrin found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. Mm. Explains a bit. A lot. You had a right to feel rage, resentment. But those motives aren't enough to justify the means you chose. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you, not from anyone. I regret nothing. If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister, most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Your face doesn't look good, though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits.
In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. <clears throat> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, Show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. I'm not a prisoner. Free to do as I choose. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Your Grace, as head of state, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. You are correct. 
They are what matters. I must not forget this. Sianna. You shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you. some flowers, a wreath, or... I've none. Sold everything. I was just on my way out. No sense hanging about with nothing to do. Should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Windflowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies-in-waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant, big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Sianna, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm-hmm. Could say that. Wait here. Take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. Do you 
know the colors I would see on the Dutch's banners. Red, white, and rosé. Listen, good folk. Listen here. Would you spare a... What will the morrow bring? <laughs> to bury the murderous lass in one crypt with the Duchess. It's not decent. Matter or no, she was the Duchess's sister. Shared her blood. She should lie with her kin. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside, then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. way that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this. I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days.
those deaths I failed to prevent. I feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint's left without a ruler, or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rue her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more... Mm, philosophical. Pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions. True. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diavolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go.